celebrate when your plan is working, anyone can do that. But when you realize the story of your life could be told a thousand different ways, that you could tell it over and over again as a tragedy, but you choose to call it epic, that's when you start to learn what celebration is. <laughs> when I went to the emergency room that night, I didn't know where I was or why I was there, but I knew that my coaches and my closest teammates were by my side. The doctors did some tests, they came back, and the neurologist told me they found a tumor in my brain. What? A tumor? In my brain? What does that mean? The first question I had was when can I run again? And I will never forget the look on my coach's face as he smiled and rolled his eyes. I was worried about when I could run again, when I could be back out there on the track, on the course with my team. But he told me I had to take it easy for a while. They put me on some medication. It made me dizzy. In fact, it made me have more seizures. And the hardest part about that year was learning to not run, to find joy in other things and to find the Lord in other parts of my life. I wanted to run so bad. I wanted so much to be out there with the people that I love the most, doing the thing that I love the most, but I couldn't. I was stuck with these seizures, with this tumor, and I didn't know what I was going to do. Several months later, they did some more tests, and they found that this tumor was growing and bleeding. What was I going to do? I had one option, brain surgery. Ten months ago, I looked up at a pair of operating lights, and I chose to believe that God was about to do something amazing in my life. Ten months ago, the neurosurgeon opened up my head and removed that tumor. And here I stand, ten months later, with my team, on my course, running my race, because it's always been my race, but it's never been about me. Every time before I run, I write these words on my arm. Ask me about my running and hear me talk about my faith. These are the words I live by. This is the God I run for. This is what I do. When I came to Waynesburg University, joining the lacrosse country and track team was one of the best decisions I have ever made. When I got, went through some of the hardest moments in my life, it was the Waynesburg cross country and track team that was there by my side. I didn't know that going on the mission trip with the track team in 2013 was going to change my life, but it did, because I had a seizure on that mission trip, and I wrote three prayers in my journal on that mission trip, and I didn't know they were going to come true the next day. When I prayed for an adventure, God sent me to the emergency room. When I prayed for friendships, God put the track team in my life. And when I prayed for peace, God woke me from a seizure. What better peace could I have ever asked for? The story of my life is written by a God who is about second chances. God first, my teammates second, Annette third. <laughs>